Good morning, everyone. This morning, I got all the girls locked up in their headlocks, stanchions, whatever you want to call them, because we're vaccinating. Aren't we excited about that, girls? They're not so excited. But did you know farmers work with veterinarians to set up vaccination schedules for all their cows, pigs, horses, sheep, all, all the animals? In fact, I'm going to be working sitting down with my veterinarian again next week to go over our protocols because it's something you should do quite regularly because there's always new vaccines, better varieties coming out. And so it's good to keep up on those things. This morning, I'm gonna be vaccinating for the viruses because it's one of those things we like to do before we release the girls back out on pasture in the spring. Right girls? Yeah, so the next time you uh, wonder, because I'm sure you wonder all the time, what are some of the things that farmers do to take care of their animals? Well, we vaccinate because it's a safe and effective way to protect these girls from a lot of different diseases, including some that cause abortions, death, all sorts of stuff. That being said, I'm not gonna go into any details on what we do because every farm is different. Everybody, every farm has different protocols in place because believe it or not, different places have different things they need to vaccinate for. Different climates have different bugs. It's, it's really fascinating to talk to other farmers about the things that they deal with in their areas because every farm is different every farm has different pathogens they deal with and so it's also why it's so important to have a good working relationship with not only your veterinarian but your drug companies that are putting out the vaccines that you are going to be using on the girls that's about it oh i get off my knee oh but while i have you here so these are old stanchions. I think they might actually be as old as I am. And you see they only have a flap on one side. It's because the girls can only go out the top. Modern stanchions, like the ones we have over here, have two flaps, you see? So when the cow goes in, puts her head down, it locks. But if you release it, they can go out the bottom too. Pretty cool. And obviously if we don't have them in the lock position, then these are just up all the time and they are free to come in and out whenever they want. Stanchions are a great tool that allows us to do things like vaccinate, herd health, all the uh, things that we need to do to make sure our animals are healthy while making it safer for us and the animals. So, pretty cool.